Good day, good day to my fellow royal fans. In today's headline, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have stepped back from royal family life to pursue careers not permitted within the traditions of the institution. Relocating to Meghan's home state of California, they have secured lucrative deals with streaming giants Netflix and Spotify and have waded into humanitarian and political debates. But Dr. Rob Morris claims the firm's focus on the heir apparent and those who are likely to rule in their lifetime sidelines the potential of the spares within the royal family. Dr. Morris revealed that the monarchy has perhaps been unimaginative in developing the careers of the spares. Part of this, he added, is that the institution may rely too much on military careers. Prince Harry, although a prominent staple of the royal family since his birth, has not been seen as carrying the same royal responsibilities as his elder brother, Prince William. Prince William, who is second in line to the throne after his father, Prince Charles, will then pass the crown down to his children. This convention in the line of succession means that Prince Harry slips further down the pecking order and is currently sixth. But the role of the spear is ill-defined and often will see the youngest children of the monarch or those not next in line turn to the military for a career in the armed forces. Prince Harry served in the army for a decade during which he served two tours of Afghanistan. He rose to the rank of captain and trained at the military academy at Sandhurst. However, when the Duke and Duchess of Sussex gave up their royal duties, Prince Harry lost a number of his honorary military titles. This also meant the Duke was not permitted to wear his military uniform at a New York award ceremony last year. But Prince Harry's departure from the royal family life to pursue interests and a life outside of the firm may have triggered a similar thought process in other senior royals who will likely never ascend the throne. Dr. Morris said Meghan and Harry's departure could have the effect that other members of the royal family, the older members of the royal family, will think twice about what roles they wish to take in life. He added that Meghan and Harry are a loss to the monarchy because of the sort of people they could have become for the royal family, giving the institution a boost by branching out and showing the firm in a new light. But Dr. Morris added, they've taken off and that's that. We shall not see them again. What do you guys think? Leave your opinions below, like the video and subscribe to the channel for more royal content. Goodbye for now.